Welcome to Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm Meg Turney. Pokemon on PS4, what devilry is this? A group of hardware hackers. Or, or witches. Witches, yes. Witches, maybe. I think witches is appropriate. Or wizards, like Magical. we yesterday. Who have previously Unicorns. cracked uh, other console security measures in the name of homebrew. Hold with me here, they actually do mean homebrew, not piracy. Sure they have do. Have taken on the PS4 and won, kind of. The group Fail Overflow have successfully got a Linux port to operate on PS4, and they demonstrated it by running a modded version of Pokemon Emerald that they called Pokemon PlayStation version. And uh, Fail Overflow spelled with a zero in it, so you know they're serious about all this hackery business. I'm half expecting Crash Override to roll yes! in. Acid burn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your horsies, Pokemon fans. Get it? Boo. That doesn't mean Pokemon will be popping up on the PSN store anytime soon, or probably ever. Even though nerd boners are popping left and right over the demonstration, and lady boners. It is just that, an example. I mean, nerd boner can be unisex. I guess, just right? sounds so masculine. Like, so boner in general sounds masculine. Like a, a nerd, never mind. Okay, it's just, uh, it's just a, a demonstration, guys. It's an example showing what's possible through their completely unsanctioned modifications to the PS4 via exploits in the firmware. And now, official Pokemon, still a Nintendo product. So, until you can run around with your Pokemon Go bracelets and your smartphones, you're still gonna need that 3DS. Although, if you're a PS4 fan, maybe you have a Vita, in which case, why do you care about Pokemon? Just kidding, nobody's got a Vita. Uh, except Gus, I think, but uh, seriously. Kind of an odd choice for a demo, right? To the outsider, it just looks like, big deal, you got an old GBA game running on current gen hardware. Ooh. I mean, not really though. It does demonstrate how to, the hack makes the impossible possible. I mean, which is what we're going for here. Pokemon sure. would be entirely unexpected on the PS4, but their work makes that possible. This isn't the first time the group has gone all mad scientists on a console. They previously hacked the PS3, the Wii, and the Wii U. They never released their Wii U exploit because there were so many issues with their PS3 one, but they- Boy, were they. Yes. But they did the work and did show it off in a presentation at the Chaos Communication Congress, which is an annual security and anti-security conference. That's actually where they showed this one too. Uh, apparently, they weren't happy with how the uh, homebrew scene went when they cracked open the PS3. They'd been hoping for a golden age of homebrew game development, like which is basically super indie development. If you're not familiar with homebrew, it's just people developing little tiny games. You remember the indie games on Xbox 360? Think of like that, sort of. Um, but instead of getting all that, people just pirated games and made everyone look bad, which is humanity in a nutshell. Here, let's use this amazing thing for the good of everyone. No, <laughs> lol, we're just gonna steal things with it. Yeah, then there was that whole, you know, legal trouble. You might remember the same time, another hardware hacker, uh, George Holt, Hots, Hots? I almost called him Holtz. Change your name, George. George Hots. Oh, what a sweet last name. Hots. Better known as the internet as GeoHot. <laughs> GeoHots. Release keys for the PS3. That's a lot to live up to if your last name is Hot. Yeah. I mean, it's a little pressure. You got a bar up there. All right. Under he pressure. Yes. He released keys for the PS3 that would allow developers to sign their own software to run natively on the platform. Sony probably took HOTS and uh, Fail Overflow both to court because reasons. Well, they, it's, it's terms of use stuff. Yes. Uh, that lawsuit resulted in an out of court settlement with HOTS being disallowed from tinkering with any Sony hardware in the future. He's cr like crash over, right? Yeah. Uh, as for what HOTS is up to now, it turns out he's working on self driving automobile technology. They grow up so fast, don't they? Maybe his cars will run GPU ports. Who? Who knows? Be, we'll just, it, it's driving for us. You gotta have something else to do in there. <laughs> that lawsuit is probably more infamous for what came next, the retaliatory attack on PSN. You know, uh, the one that ended with 70 million PSN user accounts compromised and the service being down for 23 days. Anonymous officially said they had nothing to do with the attack, though Sony claimed they found files from Anonymous on their service, but Anonymous is not one person, it's anybody who chooses to be part of it, so, you know, that's the whole thing. Sure. But back to the PS4, yes, since that's the new hotness, after, or the new hotness, uh, <laughs> who's now associated with Fail Overflow. We well, just really like sorry. his name. After the piracy issues of the PS3, the Fail Overflow group decided to try a different approach with PS4. Instead of just opening up the platform like Pandora's box, they're trying to get a new OS running on it to encourage actual homebrew and divert the resources of that scene into the creative development of these games rather than the wild west of illegal games. Does that mean that you could someday be choosing Charizards against your PSN friends? 
Well, only if you have enough badges to train it because they are very temperamental. It does remain to be seen if that homebrew scene does ever coalesce. So far, Fail Overflow is a bit gun shy about sharing their exploits because they don't want all that piracy interfering with their vision for clean homebrew. But it's also going to be tough to get developers to do anything for a platform that is completely inaccessible. Gotta love people in if you want anyone to do anything with it. So what exactly is in it for the groups though? Like Fail Overflow, in general, they kind of operate in a legal gray area, especially considering they don't want to appear to sanction illegal activities and while anyone does own the hardware they're modifying, under most terms of use, hardware manufacturers reserve the right to brick the consoles if they don't like how you're using them. Both Xbox and PlayStation have those in their terms of use. And based on their current track record, Sony especially doesn't take too kindly to you messing around inside their box. Phrasing. It seems like an awful lot of trouble to go through for something they may have to scrap based on how the community uses it or based on how Sony views their activities, right? Yeah, and if you really don't want to deal with the walled garden of a console, can't you just get a Linux-based Steam machine and then dual boot it with Windows to run whatever you want? or work on development for your own free homebrew projects just to be distributed on PC. It's true, that's but for. here's the thing for a lot of these guys, it's the challenge that's the fun part. It's not just getting a cheap gaming PC for your TV, it's the challenge. Linux PS4s are never gonna be a big platform in their own right. The actual viability seems to be, well, secondary at best, but it's all part of that human spirit of doing something just because we can. It's the same spirit that drives Twitch to beat Pokemon or a blind gamer to beat Ocarina of Time just by listening to the game's sounds. I mean, maybe this isn't quite as cool as the last one, but it's driven by sort of the same thing. Yeah, wow, we went from uh, Pokemon on the PS4 to the triumph of the human spirit, which coincidentally is actually what Pokemon is about. It's about a boy on a journey and his human spirit triumphing. And all the animals in the falls. So what do you guys think about the future of Homebrew on the PS4? Do you think it's viable? Do you want to see more open environments on consoles? Probably. Yeah, to get the latest in Homebrew news and the indomitable human spirit. Like this video and subscribe to the now. We're going to space! Ah! <laughs> I'm so tired. I know.